started it. Forget about it. I just put yup for <laughs> for the video. What an idiot. Yup. Yeah, I don't know why, but I think after one hour, it might try to kick me off. But besides that, it hasn't been a full hour, so it can't be that. Sorry, guys. Hopefully, everybody comes back. Um, I'm sure we're going to lose at least 20 people, but hopefully not. We'll see how many people we're having a good time. Thank you guys for coming back and joining back in YouTube, man. YouTube, because it hasn't even been a full hour. Now, I think after a full hour, they do kick you out sometimes, but it hasn't been a full hour, so. And I appreciate that, Addiction. I appreciate that. The Rockstead? The Rockstead is right here. And it's a beautiful thing in the neighborhood. This is going to be an amazing review. Hey, Benny! Thank you! What's up? What's going on? You just joined in, didn't you? You missed the whole beginning. This is the second video because YouTube kicked us out. Put me through with your landlord. I need to have a discussion about the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I know. I know. You know what's weird? Is that it was, wasn't doing too bad, but it kicked us off and... It did that to me the last time. It didn't mess up. It seemed like it was going good the last one, but it kicked us off, and I had to wind up put, posting it in two videos. B. Wallace is in the house. What's up, Brian Wallace? Well, for those that need an update, update, we did an unboxing in the first part of this live where Mr. Amazing gifted us uh, Artisan Centura, a... Spartan Harsey with amazing milling that looks like the Mayan calendar or something. It's very beautiful. Bronze hardware. A fourth hinder because he's already gifted us three other hinders. This one's a flipperless. Amazing. With three sets of scales, not including, I think these are micarta, but I'm not positive. Um, yeah, I think they're they're like maroon micarta. Then a um a, uh, a damn <laughs> Microtech Socom Elite and a TRM Atom and some some custom blue hardware for the the other hinder he already sent me before to look like B Wallace's because that's where I got. The idea of the the this exact one, the, the micarta with the blue titanium hardware, and he actually sent it. That's insane. And then if you guys didn't know, he's the one that donated the Beast, which is the Demco 8020, a Shuro Gurov F3R, a XM24. A titanium hinder, a rock stud, Higo, and a kite fin. And I'm probably missing one of them, but all those that I just listed were all gift knives. I know it's hard to believe. I'm still soaking it in. I'm waiting for that message. Wait, man, where the fuck are my knives? <laughs> Those weren't gifts, but uh, but no, he he definitely told me that uh, these were all gifts, and oh, it's insane. Um, but uh, I love the TRM Adam. I got one because Pete from Cedric and Ada always talks about. It. You know, all the channels talk about it, and we got one. I talked about this earlier. We got one, a Neutron, to give away from TRM. TRM gifted it to us for our thousand, uh, our thousand sub giveaway. So we never used their thing. We literally opened it up, showed it, you know, did the drawing and stuff. I flicked it maybe 
three or four times. Like, I literally, I didn't play with it or nothing because I didn't want to break it in. That was the thing. To me, it was a gift, right? For, not for me, right? It was a gift for whoever wins it. So they should have the opportunity to break it in or whatever. So, yeah, I didn't do a review on it or anything like that. So it was specifically for the giveaway. And so it's awesome getting this one because after checking one out, can you, I mean, you get one and you feel it, you want it so bad and you don't even experience it. Like, man, I was really wanting one. So this is awesome. And I know they can be pretty difficult to get. So all these damn knives are difficult to get. What am I talking about? That's what's so crazy about this. These aren't knives. Like, these are all brand new. All of them. Not, not one of them looks like they have any edge damage. It, they all have factory edges. Super sharp. No nicks. No dents. No nothing. Um, and they're all, most of them are very hard to get. They're not like, it's not like these are knives. You just like, oh, I'm going to, you know, order one. Um, I have quite a few high-end knives, but I've already accepted that I'll never get my hands on Tarim. I know they can be difficult to get, but you wait, you 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 get one because um, they they drop every once in a while, and they're awesome. The people at TRM, they're they're moving to a bigger shop. They're gonna they're gonna get some shit going. You you'll get one, bud. Um, you just watch because. They, uh, right now, you got to think, they're very popular. Everybody's getting them. So as soon as they drop them, they're pretty much gone. But if you stay paying attention to their Instagram and stuff, you'll get one. You'll get one. You just got to pay attention. And for the knife you get, they're USA made, 20 CV, amazing fit and finish, perfect EDC. And uh, they're like 200 bucks. So that's pretty good deal for something like this and it's just so it's nice very luxurious the the, the smoothness and you can get all kinds of scales for them and swap them so easily like you can dress them up very quick like if i had other scales right now i could probably swap them and 30 seconds. The Neutron I have, the detent is light. So light it's easy to fail. And I don't really care for the scales. But I would like to try another one to have better perspective. Yeah, this one? Yeah, this is not a light detent at all. No. I, I meant to do that just now. But what I was doing is I was trying to put like... I was pushing, 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 pushing. So it's not light at all. I could easily... Yeah, very easily. Like even a middle finger flick. Ooh. Like. Yeah, that's not a weak detent at all. Um, The other one we had was, like I said, I only flipped it a few times. But I'm pretty sure it felt very similar to this. Why don't you, uh, you never thought about strengthen, strengthening the liner? Lindy Lou? Oh, it wasn't yours. I see. You're saying it's not yours, but the one you checked out had a light one? Probably go with the 9CR 18MOV one with the finger hole if I did it again. Hmm, what are we talking about? Carrying a lot of Civivis lately, Sh Shannon says. I just got an Odium and love the little thing. I've also been carrying the Exarch a lot. Very awesome. Yeah, Civivi, man, they're, they're hard to beat when it comes to um, budget knives. But not even just budget knives. Good knives. That's the thing. Like, I, I, it's hard for me to say budget knives with them because... Oh, I got one right here. And I got one right here. Um, because they're, uh, one, they're made by a high-end company. We. But besides that... You're, oh, I got another one right here. I got a bunch of Civivis around me. <laughs> but they uh, they do everything right. So I know in this video I did say that I felt like they were kind of cutting some corners, right? 
But the fact of the matter is, is that they set the bar so high that, like, when I see FRN, you know, then I say, oh, man, it looks like they're, you know, they're cheating us. <laughs> they're not cheating us because it's, they're done so good. It's such a high level for what you're paying for. It's, it's hard to fathom um, paying, like, the same price for something else. Because it's like, man, I could just get a Civivi. And that, I know with a lot of knives, people think like that. But with Civivi, you actually get the things you want for a user. You get a good clip, good geometry. They, they cut. They actually cut. The action's amazing. So the things you actually want in a good knife, they hit, the, they hit, hit it right on the head with all of them. Like, I can't think of one that has bad blade geometry. Name a Civivi with bad blade geometry. Go. You can't fucking do it. So, I'll be waiting here all night. Hey, Mark! What's up, bud? Hey, I gotta talk to you after this. Um, If you want to uh, message me on email. Um, yeah, get a hold of me. I want to talk to you about something. Man, these knives are amazing. I, um, listen, I got to do a giveaway soon, um, to the Patreon. So if you're not a patron, man, I don't know what you're doing with your life because, uh, you're going to miss out on another monthly giveaway. Uh, we do monthly giveaways and you're missing out. Number two, I got to do a giveaway on the channel. We're about to hit 5k. Look at that. 4.85 thousand subs we've gained 900 subs in the last 30 days that's crazy that's crazy we are moving very fast our channel is so we have a giveaway coming up and and it's gonna have to be a good one because it's the 5k you know we got to do the big things but besides th thank you thank you um i appreciate all that. i appreciate that um, but the Patreons are going to have, they're getting something here real soon. What's up, Bear? I'm playing with my anteater right now. That's awesome. My anteater is right over there. I can't reach it, but I know what you mean. We have one, and that is a, a cool knife. Which color do you have, Bear? <laughs> I'm not going for a run. I can see it, but it's a distance. Uh, my subs go up and down. That's Ethan, that's the way it goes in the beginning. Trust me. And the reason why, it's because you're going to get, you're always going to get the, um, hey, Talica. Thanks, bud. The, uh, the reason why, thank you, Ethan, or thank you, uh, Talica. I appreciate that. The don't, like I said, we're not monetizing these lives, so. The only thing we're making is, well, besides knives, <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say that, but is the donation. So we do appreciate all donations. It really, truly, truly helps us so much. You have the purple one? Yeah, we have the pink one. I think that's the same one you're talking about. But Ethan, the reason why it goes up and down, there's a couple reasons, and I'm going to tell you something. Don't ever, 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 under no circumstances... Do sub for sub. Somebody will get on your thing and say, hey, sub for sub, sub for sub. Don't do it. Don't ever fall for it. I don't care if you go to their channel and they have 10,000 subs and they look legit. Don't do it. Because they're they're not a real... You don't want subs that aren't real, okay? Anybody who says that doesn't care about your channel. They just want your sub. So either one, they're going to sub to you and then unsub a week later or two, never sub you at all. But the point is, is that the people that you want to attract to your channel are people that actually care about your channel and actually watch your content. Remember, subs don't matter. It's watch time. That's what matters. Subs, honestly, that, that, that part doesn't matter. It's about if they watch or not. Like You can have 100,000 subs and get one view, right? It's not about the subs. It's about the views. And not even just the views, the watch time, because I can click on a video watch two seconds of it, and click off. That didn't do anything for that channel. They might have gave them a view, 
but their watch time goes down. And YouTube calculates things for t in 2020 based off of watch time. So like I have my algorithm or my, uh, my data thing and it tells me each video, my watch time. And it's just an average. So it'll tell me like, like say I have a 10 minute video, people watched basically three minutes or something, four minutes. And it does an average. So then my next video, it'll tell me if I'm up or down on my watch time or if my views are up or down. And you're not always trying to beat your last video or anything like that, but you want to start seeing your stuff go up eventually. And there's charts and all that. But yeah, you, you don't, in the beginning, I remember in the beginning, we hit 100 subs finally. And this took us a long time, Ethan, a long time to hit 100 subs. We had a channel for months with like 15 subs, 30 subs for months. Then finally, when we hit 100 subs, all right, I watched it go over 100. And I was like, like cheering. I mean, I was so excited. I was so damn excited. We did a giveaway, all kinds of shit. And then the next day, we had like 92 so <laughs> because we lost like 10 subs like in in just a few hours so it went over 100 and went down so that's the way it goes that's why in the beginning you want to wait till you get to like like say if you're looking for 100 subs wait till you get to 110 because they're gonna drop and come and drop it's just the way it goes but the thing is those you don't those ones you lose you didn't want them in the first place so don't worry about them that's a good thing it's not a bad thing that's a good thing um, everyone re-liked the video. Yeah, everybody re-liked this video. I know it's the second piece we're doing, but, um, you're welcome, Ethan. Um, of course not. Cage, I'm a school bus driver, and I'm not even allowed to carry a knife on the job. Really? No, well, now everybody knows. Boom. Um, yeah, that sucks, man. I feel bad for bus drivers. Oh, man, do I feel bad for bus drivers. I don't know what your bus is like, but I remember what my buses were like. Holy shit. I would never want to be a bus driver, especially around here. Fuck that. I remember, man, not only did we do crazy shit to the bus driver, but just the things that they had to deal with and, like, the noise and the people throwing stuff at them and... I remember kids like fireworks on the bus and, uh, and no idea. Sorry about that. If it keeps, we're just going to have to.